It's nine o'clock. Be free. Uh, there, I go for the buzzard there. We get onto the buzzard. So there somewhere. No, I've lost it. Where is it? There it is. It's good camouflage. There is the buzzard. I haven't seen that for a while. Not here. Good morning, Mr. Buzzard. Yeah, wait for me, bear. He's looking up at it. Look at that. He knows it's there. He's looking up at it. Right there. Oh. Again, I'm still in the middle of nowhere trying to hold the camera still on high zoom there. So I'm sure, look at there, he's just staring up at it. Yeah, I love you, mate. Yeah, I love you, that one. Carry you off. <coughs> oh, he's, he's, he's after it. He's after it. Where's it gone? Way off down. Down in the trees above the arch there. <laughs> Hell, bear. You nutter. I didn't even notice that on the AIS. I was too busy looking at what was heading this way. The uh, HMM appears to have gone. Rayon, was it? Is that the one that's gone? It looks like it. Still one sat up there. That one seems to have moved out further as well, doesn't it? Is it? Just a different perspective from here, perhaps. Nice bit of sun at the moment. Forecast for a possibility of showers, and you can see that from the clouds. I am wearing a coat. Just in case. And it's a little chilly. It's only about 6 degrees when we woke up, something like that. There's a wildlife safari this morning. There's a squirrel up in the tree here. couple of them in fact there was one higher somewhere I've lost track of the higher one is it in there somewhere yeah I can see a face just there actually that's two I can hear a third because the noise is not coming from either of them Okay, enough with a squirrel. Where's the bear? <coughs> yeah, I can see all the swan. Where can I see them? Right, well, there's two there. Oh, that's not good, is it, with the weeds in the way? There's two there. Just trying to get a focus. Right, there's two there. There's a whole bunch more up here. I'm not in the best of <laughs> positions to see that, am I? I can see minimum four. I think there's more than that. Uh, wait for me, bear, which you are, good boy. Uh, they appear to have done an about face. There's a couple there. Three there. Oh, they're doing that heart shaped thing with their necks, look. Uh, yeah, I think they've about faced, actually. Oh, well. Yeah, the swan have indeed turned around and headed on back in. Perhaps they were uh, disturbed earlier. Uh, uh, I saw on the computer before I came out, Adela is up on the, uh, the hard standing, if you call it. Not the grid, but the hard standing in the inner harbour there. So that explains why we saw the uh, 
the buoy with Adela marks on it, uh, the heaving line or whatever it was uh, yesterday in the inner harbour there. It's because he was due to be coming in and he's in this morning up on the hard standing, I believe. Anyway, enough of that. It's uh, uh, solved that mystery. It's a full tide bear. It just looks really nice when it's like this. You stood there like you want me to throw the ball. Do you want me to throw the ball? We haven't done that for a while. It's a bit chilly, mate. I'm inclined to do so, the way you're acting. All right, it's cold water swimming. It is all the rage, so uh, I'm going to give you some of the rage. <laughs> Oh, he's not. He's not. Oh dear. Make your mind up, bear mate. It's going to be gone. Here come the ducks. And there go the ducks. And there goes the bear. You going to get your bull bait? You're swimming with ducks. Very close they are. I think I said before I once went to the Wallfowl Centre and we were volunteering with work and blah 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 and they were rounding up uh, the uh, the wallfowl into big nets you know trying to catch them and that's what they did they set a dog down the uh, the shoreline and all the all the wallfowl followed the dog it's their sort of natural instinctive behavior to shoo away the predator or something like that something like that and that's sort of almost what the dogs were doing right there i'll shut up it's a naturey kind of morning Okay, we have landed. You done with a ball, are you, Bear? I'll do some more if you want, mate. And the ducks are off down here. I'm in a bit of a wash, that one. Okay. <clears throat> What are they eating? Is that why they keep returning to here? What are they eating there? Well, well, well. Not seen that before. I presume it's rotting seaweed, is it? It must be worth their while, whatever they're getting.
Oh, they've changed their mind again. No, not the ducks, the swan. Well, there's quite a number of them coming out. They're going to take off just around the corner, aren't they? We're going to miss uh, them in flight, sadly. Oh. <laughs> I was struggling with the camera. I had to turn the camera off because it wouldn't focus. So I was too late to uh, getting in on that. They are in flight. And that one's in vain. There isn't a huge amount of sun, there's a lot of cloud, but we're going to go on the end and see if we can get a little bit of the sun. Go on. I was down here picking up poop. He's, <laughs> he's way ahead of me up here. He's, right, he's way out on the top already. <laughs> you wait for me, Bear. I shall be very slowly coming up with you. Well, we're here and promptly lose all the sun. Couldn't make it up, could you? Look at that cloud there. <laughs> Wouldn't be any sun here for ages. If at all. Right, we'll be sitting here in the shade. Which I wasn't going to say because I was too late with the camera. They came, the minute we got out here, we were subjected to that noise. They went flying past. A bit like that, but closer and lighter. Keep in watch there, Bear. You a bit chilly after your swim there. So some people just getting out as well. They uh, swam across to the boys and they're just about to get out there. I saw the white and it seemed something unusual. It looks as though it's a piece of timber with a lot of rubbish hanging off it. That's all it looks like. Mm-hmm. 